All right, guys, I am exhausted from the Tyreek Hill stuff yesterday and all those videos, the video this morning, but the news keeps coming. We just signed another veteran wide receiver in Tyreek Hill's absence. Will it be enough? No idea, but it's still news. So I wanna talk about it, but first, how about those? <laughs> What's up guys, if you're new around here, my name is Cole and I do daily news about my favorite team, the Kansas City Chiefs and the NFL in general. So make sure to like and sub if you're new around here and let's get into it. All right, this happened about 30-ish minutes ago according to Adam Schefter, former Packers wide receiver Marquez Valdez Scantling is signing a three-year, $30 million deal worth up to $36 million with the Chiefs per source. This is called living right. Valdez Scantling goes from the NFL's reigning MVP Aaron Rodgers to the NFL's former MVP Patrick Mahomes. Per Tom Pelissero on Twitter, so one day after trading Tyreek Hill to Miami, Kansas City begins spending the money they freed up on MVS, a new speed threat for Mahomes. It's a three-year, $30 million deal. This man is 27 years old, I believe, six foot five, and runs a 4.3740. So this is definitely a very different receiver than Hill. He's still quick, but 6'5? I think Tyreek Hill is 5'9. So this guy has, what is that, eight inches on Tyreek? That's not to mention arm span or vertical. I have no idea Tyreek can jump, but this is interesting to say the least. I am not unhappy with this signing. I'm still just very sad by Tyreek leaving. I'm I'm not really excited, but it's not because I think MVS will be a bad receiver. I'm just, I'm still depressed, okay? But that is news. You guys should know about it. Uh, there's an article from ESPN that says this, after playing in every game over his last three seasons, he was drafted in 2018, Valdez Scantling missed six games last season, five because of a hamstring injury and one because of COVID-19 that limited him to just 26 catches, tying a career low for 430 yards, a career low and three TDs. Yeah, he was the fifth pick in 2018. He dropped 12 passes in his first three seasons combined, but made it through the entire 2021 season without a drop. Wow. I know he was gone or absent by like six games or whatever, but not a drop considering the, the passes that Hill dropped and others dropped last season. I like that. Not a drop. I like that a lot. The speedy Valdez Scantling has averaged 17.5 yards per catch since he entered the NFL in 2018, which is the fourth highest average in the league over that span. He's the only player in the league to rank in the top 10 in yards per catch in each of the past three seasons, among those with a minimum of 25 catches. So what are your guys' thoughts on all of this? Do you like this signing? Are you like me and kind of still just numb from the news yesterday that you're like, okay, yeah. I mean, the Chiefs made a move before the draft, which I was hoping they would do. So they've got MVS, three years, $30 million. All I can think of is that's one year from Tyreek. So this guy is getting three years for the price of Tyreek in one year. Will it fill the gap that Tyreek is leaving in his absence? I don't think so. We are going to need more than this, but it is a start. I did see somewhere that he struggled with some back injury stuff late in the season. December 15th, 2021, Valdez Scantling was a limited participant ahead of week 15 due to a back injury, but was active in Baltimore. But then January 9th, 2022, he injured his back in Green Bay's week 18 loss to Detroit. He missed the divisional round game versus the Niners. So hopefully like back stuff makes me nervous, but hopefully he is all good and good to go. So again, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. The Chiefs are making moves. He is a lot cheaper. He is a year younger than Hill. He's 27. He'll be 28 October 10th. So there's that. He has had nowhere Hill's production, but again, solid pickup, solid receiver quick, very large. So maybe, hey, some 50-50 balls will be coming his way. You never really know. Be assured I'll keep you guys up to date every step of the way. So until next time, Chiefs Kingdom, let's go. Let's go. How about those? <laughs>